Ho ho, me hearties, a very, very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live with the Monday evening phone-in, the internet phone-in. Yes, indeed, that's not for the faint-hearted. I can tell you, Greg has joined us, and our TikTokers are with us tonight. How good is that? Tremendous stuff. So welcome, 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 I see. Now, lots and lots of chat tonight, lots of wonderful phone calls. That will be absolutely tremendous. And we have so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. Now, just to put you in the picture, you might see an extra doing its rounds because this morning we actually went live at 11 minutes past 10. And there's talk about maybe doing a 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, just as an experiment for a few days. But you can tell us what you think. That's what it's all about. Now, if you've got something to discuss with Scotty McClure, the best thing you can do is get to the telephones. I shall check what's happening here, and we'll see if we can get you all on, Thank you do. So we'll just make sure that the phones are live and that you can come on as and when. Here we go. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, Scotty. It's Kareem. How ah, Kareem, well done for getting through first tonight. Excellent. <laughs> and we, we thoroughly enjoyed your call this morning. Amazing. Thank you. No, Wonderful. Just, um, we'll continue that tonight just to see how everybody and all the TikTokers as well. Hel on. Hello to the TikTokers. They are saying, Scotty McClue, how are you? Dinky doo, dinky doo. How are you doing, Scotty McClue? Says Joel. <laughs> and uh, what have we got here? Love you, Scotty. Yes, love you guys, dinky-doo, good evening, all that stuff. And uh, it's there for you. The floor is yours, Karim. Now, remember, a lot of the people listening tonight may not have heard you this morning, because this morning was a bit of an unannounced random pop-up. Yes, it was good to hear you, Scotty. It um, was great. A lot of different people on as well. Yes, yes, new folk on coming and joining us in the phone in. We love that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, before I, I go on to my point, Scotty, I, I think it was Saturday when I spoke to you that I told you about my parking ticket. Oh, yes, the parking ticket, yes, in Carlisle and Cumbria. Yes. So I came home today and I went online, because you do it online now, ah. and it showed you the picture, and honest to God, the, the parking ticket was right beside the visitor's permit. You couldn't make it up. Ah, so I take it then that you're a hundred percent in the right. Yes. Good. They said that I've parked in an area without a, a, a proper without a proper disc, but I had a visit visitors uh, parking permit which they allocate. So the, the base of the warden was in the wrong. So I'm just having to wait back till they get back to me. Right. Excellent stuff. Good for you, Kareem. First class. Yep. Good. Excellent. Yep. So that's that one. That's that one. Earlier on, Scotty, there was a we there was a discussion on and open it to everybody tonight about mobile phones should they be banned in schools? Yes. Now, just before we go into this, let me just open the chat up. Suzanne, Team McClue. Hi, Scotty. This is Susan Shaw. Good evening from me, Kirsty. Um, hi, everybody. All right, Scotty, best presenter. Good evening, says Neil. And uh, there's a shocker. Kareem on first, says John Marshall. Well, John, were you ringing and you couldn't get on? Is that what it is? There would be a shocker. Now, Kareem, there we go. That's what they all think. Just keeping you up to date. Thank you. Now, they were talking earlier on, Scotty, about mobile phones um, and about technology. And in terms of, I think, as I said, teachers are their own worst nightmare. I do think a lot of teachers give themselves so much extra work that is needed. Right. Um, you've got document out tackling bureaucracy within teaching in Scotland. Uh, and that's one of the things to try and reduce the workload. However, uh, with the mobile phones, I, I know some of your callers earlier on uh, were saying that... Well, now, Hoob is actually just saying right now, ban the phones. Ban phones never, in school. It will never happen. You know? It will never happen. You think not? There's too many... But as you say, I said at the weekend, the, the majority suffer for the minority of people, and there will be the group of people, there will be a group of parents 
that will never allow that. Um, that no, my kids, regardless, will use their phone to contact me X, Y, and Z. You know, that will never, will never change at all. Right. The same example. The same example, Scotty. Like um, someone said earlier on, give an example about Scotty McClue uh, Airlines. Like we're flying away, Scotty McClue Airlines. Uh, this uh, company, they're not allowed to say, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for flying Scotty McClue Airlines. They now have to say passengers due to offending people on the plane. Um, oh, so, for goodness sake. You know, correct. well, why don't, don't we know. say something, ladies and gentlemen, and anybody in between? <laughs> yeah. That's so, what I would be tempted to say. Ladies and gentlemen, and anybody in between, uh, thank you for flying Scotty McClure Airlines. Yes. <laughs> You know, but I, that's the example. It's always a minority that seems to be winning over the majority of people now. Uh, I don't you see, I think we that. need to. I think we need to stop this. I think we need to say that you know minorities are represented, but if you right. wish to become a majority, you need to get the numbers to us. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, how many people want this change? Not that you may be offended. Positively, how many people require this to be changed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, you could turn it around, Scotty, like with the, the airlines there and say, well, I'm offended that you're not calling me a gentleman. Yes, I mean, absolutely, yes. You know, or, or calling my mother a lady. Uh -huh. You know, so... I mean, I, I know it was a point about mobile phones. But Excuse me, we're mobile. not just passengers. We're ladies and gentlemen. Ah, yeah, correct. Uh, or children. What do we call children now if they don't identify as children? That's you know? right. Yes, so so they're just in as passengers as well. So in other words, it's just like saying herd. You know, th yeah. can we thank the whole herd for coming on? <laughs> you know, Ladies uh, and gentlemen, we would like to thank you as a herd for flying with us. <laughs> or humans. Thank you, humans. For yes. Coming on this plane. Can we thank all the human beings and any outsiders from the human race who have behaved well for joining us on the flight? Correct. But just basically, Scott, that was about the mobile phone. I, I don't think it will ever change because you'll have a, a lot of parents. Uh, I, I'll give you an example. Years back when I was doing supply, um, I had a parent that was not happy about something, and the child just passed me the phone straight away. Uh, my mum, my 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 dad wants to speak to you. I said no. no. I said you go through official channels. If there's anything your your father wants to speak to, you need to contact the school office. Correct. Go through that. Good for you, um, Kareem. So Absolutely. Well, I'm getting here. Mobile phones are up there with the wheel and the fountain pen. Mobile phones are the ultimate in personal gadgetry. It's simply essential. Phones are truly a part of one's body now, says Dave yeah. Deprave. Mm -hmm. What do we think yeah. of that? Well, I think, Scotty, and I know you've done teaching before and you've been in many secondary schools throughout the years, of, and I'm sure you've seen there's always the lonely souls yes. in every single year group. Yes. People that don't have many friends or they're just finding it hard to develop social skills. I think the mobile phones is a, a perfect way for them to escape. I, I know Could be. it might not. It, it's escapism for them because they can have their virtual friends, whoever they are around the world, they can play their games, you know, they feel, you know, they're not going to feel that anxiety. Yes, but what, what, why would they be playing, why should they be playing some random game if they're in, say, an English or a mathematics or a PE class? Well, I was thinking more about during lunchtime. Or ah, that's a different thing, I understand that. But, yeah. you know, I'm yeah. just, I'm just thinking, I mean... I remember a school where they weren't allowed phones until they were out the school at whatever the time was when the day finished. Yeah. I think it depends on the area, the type of the type of parents and how well the management run it. But one thing to remember as well, if you confiscate a phone, if anything goes wrong with that phone, you're held reliable. Held liable? Yep. Yeah. If, if you break it, if you scratch it, if that parent complains, you know, the, the 
the, the management can't back you up on that because they'll say, well, that's your decision, you shouldn't have to... Well, here's Cole Brandest. What tosh phones encourage isolation and exclusion from learning social skills? Well, I, I believe, I think at the moment, my personal opinion is I think we're getting the balance wrong at the moment. With the, There's a lot of technology uh, and we need to... You see so many children and young people where their faces are stuck in the iPad and it's great that they know a lot of X, Y and Z but when you put them in a group talking together they are uncomfortable a lot of the time they feel very shy and they can't communicate clearly and as they get older and they go into the workforce or university or college that is going to cause a lot of problems Well if you think about it I mean, you know, you're a lot younger than me but when we were at school there only was talking Correct. there were no computers you know there was there was typing machines in uh, in commercial so there were no computers at all so your only mode of communication was either the written word or the spoken word so you learned yeah. how to write excellent english and you learned how to speak as well as you could yeah yeah i i find just now, and this is, again, I don't have academic proof behind this, this is just from observation, that when you look at cooperative learning within groups or active learning questions, a lot of kids tend to struggle. If you get them working on their own, a lot of kids tend to prefer doing that. And that is important as well for academic research as they get older, but you still need, to, it's the balance, it's getting all that, putting it together that they get a wee flavour of absolutely everything. Dave on here is saying, what are most of you on now listening to Scotty and Kareem? A mobile phone. Correct, yeah. <laughs> I'm on mine. <laughs> but, then, but then we're not supposed to be doing learning at the moment. We're doing listening and talking. Correct, yes. I'm you know? listening. So we actually need an instrument of communication, i.e. a mobile phone or a computer. Yeah. As, as I said, Scotty, I don't think it's, they're not ever going to get rid of the mobile phones from schools. Right. Um, and it just depends, A, in the type of school, the type of parents and the type of management. And, you know, it, 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 there's a lot of factors that come into it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Kareem, lovely talking to you. I shall put this to the nation. Thank you, Scott, for having me. Thank you, do. Speak tomorrow. Thank you, do. All the best. Talk Bye. tomorrow. Top man. There they are. That's our Kareem, and uh, he's talking about mobile phones and mobile phones in schools. Lots and lots of reaction from you guys. <coughs> Pardon me. I see too much breeding and not enough reality in life, says Elizabeth. Good evening, Scotty. Hello, Scotty from the USA. Next caller, please, says Larry Guy. Scotty, where are you at the Scotland v. Israel on Saturday? No. Uh, Scotty, he gives a wee chin in the squeeze box. We may do later if everybody behaves. Uh, they can use their phone before and after school, but they should be strictly prohibited during school, says La Hoop. So take the phones away, encourage conversation and self-confidence. Yes, indeed, Scotty. Says Sunray, phones must be banned from the school campus. It's a must, says Joe. Bring back the telegram, sir. My local pub has ripped the TVs off the walls and prohibited mobile phones in an act to be encouraged something or other. Uh, excellent stuff, dinky do. Hello, pal. Dinky do. We love being out the EU. I don't think we do magic. If you love. Losing two hundred and fifty billion pounds of your money for nothing, then uh, that's great. But there are no advantages to Brexit, I can tell you, and there's nothing to celebrate being out the EU. Why would we any parent or kids out in the world with five hundred quid's worth of tech in their pocket? <laughs> Good evening, Scotty. In my day as a child, I begged for an extension in my room and was denied it for doing not responsible. Uh, hello, Dinky Do. An extension for the telephone, I, th I take it you mean by that. How amazing is that? Dinky Do to the telephones as soon as you possibly can. Let's hear from you. This is Scotty McClure, and we are live on the big one. 
That's what I say. Right, just uh, getting you sorted out there. Excellent. And if you want to come onto the telephone, you'll see the number just in front of you there. Hello, my friend. I've missed you so much, you little frog. I thank you very much. Fit like Scotty. Uh, tell us about the secrets in the safe. Ah, Danny, yes. The secrets in the safe in India. Freedom at midnight. Does anybody watching know what the secret in the safe was? There we are. Fantastic. Hello, says Thomas. Dinky do. Peter Dale Nevins has joined us. Dinky do, pal. And to you, pal. Uh, the wonderful D, D. Gourley has joined us. Dinky do. Uh, so there we go. Fantastic stuff. I think we'll get rid of Basil. That's a bit coarse. A bit coarse, Baz. Fantastic. So there it goes. Doing this one, eh? Excellent stuff. Now, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. If you wonder what you're watching, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, hashtag Flutai, and we are live on YouTube. We are live on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. If you've got a Twitch account, I'd love you to go on it and watch there. That would be absolutely amazing. We're also on Facebook Live. So if you go on to Scotty McClure's Facebook page, you can join us there. Um, Dave says, I'd love a teacher to come on and actually give a real account of the situation of mobile phones at school. Well, Dave Deprave, I don't know what planet you've been sleeping on, but Kareem is a proper teacher who's actually given us a proper account. First Lord of the Internet, Dinky Doo. Hello, Scotty. Hello, everybody. Thank you for sending all these lovely likes. I've got 1,200 TikTok likes. Thank you for all your beautiful gifts on TikTok, for your TikToks, your red roses, your diamond kings, all these lovely things. Welcome, welcome. We're off to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hey, Scotty, how's it going? Hey, dinky do. How are you getting on, Glenn? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, Scotty. I'm just travelling back from Sheffield, actually. I've just come back from uh, Sheffield today. Wow! Did you have a nice time? Yeah, not too bad. Thanks. How's the beautiful old city looking? Yeah, it's looking good, yeah. And then the autumn will be coming, the trees will be turning. I'm in Birmingham now, Sky. I'm just waiting for the train, actually. Uh, do, you miss, uh, do you miss Sheffield, Glenn? I do. Well, you take home wherever you go, though, don't you, Scott? Uh, Absolutely. I mean, will you someday go back, do you think? It depends, don't it? You've, you've, got, to, you've, you've got, got to make your bed and lie in it, haven't you, La? It's got to, like the mother said, oh, the... You know? I mean, uh, my mum's a big fan of yours, Sky. Oh, bless her. Have you said hi? She'll be watching you on YouTube. Oh, brilliant. So she can actually yeah. come and join us. Fantastic. And the TikTokers throughout the world. Uh, Scotty, like I said, I think you take, you take home wherever you go, really, right? Yeah. Well, you do, really. I mean, to be honest with you, though, I'm at home anywhere in the world. There, exactly. so, See, Sheffield, to me, I was no stranger in Sheffield, I'll tell you. Where, wherever you're going, you'll always be there. Won't you? Loved it, loved it. And I went to Manchester after Sheffield the first time, and then I came yeah. back to Sheffield again. You'll always be a you'll always be a part of our lives, Sky. Anyway, no matter what. Beautiful. Did you used to listen on both Hallam FM and Magic? Scotty Corsa did, yeah. Yes, that was the ones. Brilliant as well. There. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic. I mean, Scotty, when you think about it, you're young and naive when you're that age, when you're in your early eighteens, nineteens, early twenties. Oh, absolutely. And then life just comes. Comes at you, doesn't it? Like a ton of bricks sometimes, doesn't it? Here's a lovely thing, Glenn. Stephen on TikTok, right? Wasn't Sheffield yeah. one of the biggest producers of steel at one time, Scotty? Definitely. Scotty, I love yeah. that, isn't it? Stocksbridge. Uh, when does life? When? What age would you say life starts, Scotty? Life starts the second the second you're conceived. Yeah, exactly. And then it it yeah. goes into another phase the second you're born. You're impressionable at that stage, aren't you? Well, I think as soon as you're conceived, you're impressionable, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you kind of take what's going, you know, down the old uh, down the old umbilical cord. You still know what's going on, Scotty, don't oh, you? Of course you do, of course you do, absolutely. Andy's shouting Hallam FM here. Scotty, 
Scotty Allen and Magic in there, definitely. Lovely. Lot of, yeah. lot of big Hallam listeners on the internet, you know. Will this be bigger, do you think, Scotty? Yeah, this, what we're doing just now. Yeah, do you think it'll be bigger than, than this? Yes, this will be massive. Once people start to find out about the internet phone in, because I yeah. said to a friend of mine, I was thinking in advertising along a motorway the other day, he went, Scotty, that's a little road in Scotland. He said, yeah. you are now international. International is bigger than... Oh, massive, I massive. I mean, remember, we were huge on local radio stations. So you're yeah. talking a good few hundred thousand people. You're talking a okay. good few million people. International compared to national, there's no comparison. Well, now we're, we're all over the world, and once people yeah. get a whiff of this phone in, we are laughing. I can't afford to advertise it at the moment, but once we can... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would advertise the YouTube and uh, and the Twitch yeah. and the, the LinkedIn and the Facebook and say, we're on here live, here's the times, send us round the world, boom. Yeah. Have you got powers that be that... What, what you can do then uh, no no nobody says ihi or okay but if there's something do, did you like what i just did there ihi yeah. or okay but if there's something that we said on here that wasn't liked by the platform then they, they'd go yeah. but we'd have to find another platform and i mean the one thing i can assure you is scotty mcclue's got not going nowhere you know what i mean yeah. Well, you've got to. You just say, right, well, we're transferring to another one, you know. There'll always be another one, where there? There'll always be another one. As somebody yeah. said, Scotty, you would be broadcasting even if there wasn't an audience. I think, Scotty, I think YouTube's biggest one at the moment. YouTube's massive, but it's yeah. very tiny for Scotty McClure at the moment. There's 1,800 Scotty McClure videos. Now... I should have huge numbers of subscribers, but mm -hmm. people forget they listen to the show. It should be that you can't hear Scotty until yeah. you've subscribed. I agree. I don't know if we can do that, but, you know, we, 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 we might have a, a look into all that. Instead of, just brow instead of just browsing through and just catching you out a whim like. Yeah, yeah, somebody browsed, oh, what's yeah. this? Oh, I like this. I, I mean, discovered you by accident, Scotty. That's yeah, but the thing is, you're scrolling on TikTok, so somebody might yeah. join you for a few seconds. Somebody might stay for the whole hour. If you don't like the content and that, you just scroll on. To you scroll on, that. but that's why we have a rule that once you've discovered Scotty McClure on TikTok, you never yeah. scroll and you never troll. You shouldn't have to, though, should you, really? No, you wouldn't want to. Why would you want to? You've got to be number one in your favourites anyway. Absolutely, absolutely. And apparently I pop up on the For You pages all the time. Definitely, yeah. Just, um, like I said, TikTok, whatever comes out next. TikTok's TikTok. fabulous. TikTok's got 800 million people. Now, I would like 800 million of them to be watching right now. That's why your views aren't so high, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah, you've got to get that. So we need to get the word out there. You've got to get your subscribers up, aren't you? You must get your subscribers up. So everybody, here's a guy. Wait hear this. Here's a floating goat. I did discover you by accident, but I'm pretty pleased with your live shows. Isn't that beautiful? Scotty, That's I found you by scrolling on TikTok, says Mr. Goatface. Mr. Goatface, thank you. Thank you for all your lovely TikToks. They definitely know who you are, Scotty. Scotty, I've got a plan out of the brain on for last. This is it. What, yeah, this is it. The lovely D. Gurley, she said, I've been listening to Scotty for 25 years. Nice, isn't it? Here's, here's Joel goes, how big was your radio station? Joel, I was on 35 radio stations right across the UK. So my radio station was about almost 70 million. Northwest, Yorkshire, yeah. Scotland, Midlands. Huge. Everywhere. Huge. Scotty, I think... Um, I just want to put a shout out to... Now, you see, here's somebody being sarcastic. Black Country 40 doesn't get it. You have 37 viewers, massive audience. Now, he doesn't realize that I'm used to quarter of a million of an audience every half hour. He doesn't realize that these 37 viewers, he might see yeah. actually 42 on the TikTok, they will become thousands by the end of this hour. Yeah, 
I think they're just nice people, aren't they? These are, he's an idiot. So what we'll they're do nice. with him, black country can go down the swanee. He can go watch himself. He can go and look at himself in the mirror, Glenn. My adopted to end up one. And he can have an audience of one. There he goes. He's gone. We'll never hear of him again. I liked what you put up yesterday about your friend uh, on that. Play, what, what did it, uh, somebody played something. Was it the octopus? The octopus, yeah. Yeah, you want to hear it play yeah. the piano? Oh, brilliant. Do you like that? Oh, fantastic. My friend's got a pet octopus. You want to hear this thing play the piano? Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> you imagine Jody play Hey, there's RFC goes just brilliant, so that's lovely. I think, like I said, Scotty... Look at this, get the, him out, ban the fool, I'll wait then. Scotty, they cut him the nose off to spite the face, are they? Half-witted idiots. Half -witty. There's a walk with nature from America, lovely person. Scotty McClure, the man, the myth, the legend, coming to a town near you via TikTok, Twitch and YouTube. They're all going silly man about that bloke. He's gone down the swanee. Scotty, do you think this is, this is the limit now? Do you think you'll ever go back on radio? Or? Well, if we can build this, there won't be any need to go back on the radio. What uh, I wouldn't mind is if the radio stations like what they're hearing and say, can yeah. we take a feed from your evening show? Mm -hmm. Suzanne says, we've all grown up with Scotty. We have, oh, Suzanne. Right. There's only one Scotty McClue. No one could touch you, says the wonderful Anthony Mack. It's a great story. Scotty. Absolutely. Scott says they should have done a they should have done a video they should have done a biography on you. Here's Andrew, and Andrew knows his stuff. Andrew from Edinburgh. There's a lot of noses out of joint with the new phone in, Scotty. Absolutely. You still like I said, do you still watch what others do then? What do I watch what others do? No, yeah. I'm actually not interested. I'm interested in what we're all doing. Andy Pandy has just sent me 100 TikToks. Nice one. Isn't that beautiful? Scotty, so you don't watch any then? You, uh... What do I watch other presenters? Yeah, do, do you watch any? Um, not uh, nowadays, no. No, no, I'm not interested because I do what I do and yeah. they probably won't approve of what I do, but it doesn't matter. No, true. That's the difference. That's All I'm interested in is, well, Andy Pandy's given me 250 TikToks. Nice one. Andy Pandy, what, a 280, 300. What's going on, Glenn? Scotty, will you get better equipment than with them in time then? Yeah, yeah, as we save up some pennies, if I can get 100 angels, we're on to the next thing. I think we've got Christmas markets coming up soon, Scotty, aren't we? Beautiful. All the gorgeous lights and that. There's all that, absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. I think, um, like I said, it'll just get better, Scotty, in time. Well, I think, I think what's happened, remember we're moving into our sixth week. Yeah. You know, how amazing is that? This is baby steps this at moment. Isn't baby it? steps, absolutely. That's what it's all about. Is, um, you deserve it, Scotty. Says Andy Pandy. Andy Pandy, you, thank you so much. They should have. They should have knighted you, Scotty. No, I don't need that. Listen, talking to the likes of thee, that's a knighthood for me. Same here, Scotty. That's it, lie. I don't need a thing. The only reason I would I would do knighthood or anything like that if I thought I could use it for the greater good of the people. And you don't, you don't think it would then? No, I don't think there's any need because I wouldn't want to be called Sir Scotty online anyway. Sorry, I... Do you see what I mean? My title yeah. is Scotty McClue, First Lord of the Internet. And having the public is a big pleasure to you. It is. It's absolutely it's fabulous. Good. Now, I'm going to dash, Glenn, because I want to get yeah, some more on, and I love you yeah, lots. Scotty, love you, Scotty. They'll be whinging about it, but I'll let, I'll let somebody else go. No, on. they'll be doing the nut. You take care. See you, Lala. You. <laughs> Top you. man. Ta -la -la. There we are. That's our Glenn. Excellent stuff. Do you like football, Scotty? Not really. There's the hoop hashtag float eye. All in uppercase capitals. First lord of the internet. Dinky do. Thank you so much to Andy Pandy for a huge number of TikToks. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? 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 
Hello. 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 Who's that? <laughs> It's Mummy Paws. Ah, oh, Mummy Paws, what a joy to hear you. How lovely. <laughs> Great, about <laughs> time we got you on. We don't have nearly enough ladies calling. No, you don't. And I use the term ladies. I'm not going to be using all the term about um, uh, passengers and all that stuff. So it's ladies and gentlemen and anyone else in between. Of course. Andy Pandy is now sending me cookies by the hundred. <laughs> oh man, you better not eat them. Fancy after you. Yes, uh, yes, I'll be like the side of a house. I won't get down the chimney. <laughs> now, listen, I, I'll tell you, Mummy Paws, it's such a joy to hear from you. I've loved all your banter. You know, I um, I used to listen to you when I was a teenager. You did not, Mummy Paws. Before you go on, Andy Pandy has sent one hundred and eighty cookies on top of about. 400 TikToks. Ah. See, I don't know what all that is. No, I, I, I mean, I'll, I'll find out later, no doubt. It's lovely little gifts on TikTok. It's good, doesn't it? It's wonderful. Now, you used to listen when you were a teenager. Yeah, when I was a teenager, I used to listen. And I always remember my sister came on and played a stylus. Is that a stylophone? A remember that? stylophone? Was that at Christmas time? Uh, and she she played something on it. It was like a wee kind of metal instrument thing. It was like a keyboard. Was this a, a Santa type Christmas phone in? It might have been. I it think been. that is still on YouTube. Scotty McClue's yeah, Christmas been Day been. phone in. Have a listen to that. Oh, aye. So there we are. Yeah, but yeah we used to turn you turn you on in it. And my, my mum and dad just come in and tell us to turn the radio off. Turn that off. <laughs> I used to get guys putting on deep voices and threatening to come and run me through. They were Vikings. And then you would hear the mother come into the bedroom and go, right, you to get that off and get your beds, I've told you. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh, so good. Joel's telling me that's near enough one or two pounds he's sent me. We don't look at it like that. We look at the fact it was a lovely gesture. Uh, is that from the cookies? No, that's the cookies on TikTok. We're very, very big on TikTok at Scotty McClure. I don't know if you've got a TikTok account. It's usually TikTok that I, that I text you on. When right, I'm brilliant. Of course it is, Mummy. What am I at, Mummy? Pause. I don't know if you've got a TikTok account. That's how we know each other. I'm, I'm really not... And like my my daughter's got a TikTok. Yes. You know, it's all the rage. It's all the rage. With the all the rage. Eight hundred million people. Yes, I've just got my doggies on mine. Fantastic. <laughs> we love that. <laughs> and also, I don't know if you're on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. Do you know I got your phone number off of Twitch because the phone is Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. Twitch, know. Twitch, <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> the phone number's not on TikTok. Oh, no, the phone number's not on TikTok because TikTok is not actually part of the whole restream. We bring TikTok in separately because I don't think you can restream TikTok at the moment. I see. But sometimes with the, with the Twitch one, you can only see half your face. You don't see your whole face. Ah, right, I see. Yes, you just get... Oh, well, I mean, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> Fantastic. And is your sister still got her stylophone? Do you know what she probably has? But my sister now lives in Ohio. Oh, right. Well, tell her to get on to TikTok and she can watch as well. Yes, she can do. I told her that you're on. Yes, so wonderful. I wonder if you've got her watching from Ohio. Do you know, Mummy Paws, it is so good to hear you. And I'll tell you one of the reasons. I want more lady callers. <laughs> Yes, because there's a lot of the guys come on to talk to Scotty, but we want to get the ladies on as well. Because the guys are terrible waffles, wafflers. They are wafflers, of course, and, but some of them are very interesting and some of them just love the banter. Yes, the banter's always good. The, the banter's good. And you see, what I'm learning about the internet phone in, it's all new to me as well, remember. Although I've entertained for nearly 30 years with a Scotty McClue nightline, the internet is totally different, and you can't assume that everybody knows you. So in radio and television and newspaper terms, everybody goes, everybody knows Scotty McClure. 
On the internet, you're new. Yeah, so that's why you get all these people on TikTok going, who are you? <laughs> I've never heard of you. Yes. You know? Well, well, we've heard of you. We remember. What about this? I love this. Here's Brucinda. Scotty helps me feel sane after a hard day. Oh, well, there you go. Isn't that beautiful? That's always a good thing. Yes, indeed. Kevin Stewart, the Glasgow banter, chewing the fat. <laughs> oh, my. Chewing the fat. I know, chewing the like, fat. Tell me. Yes. Do you like Millport? Do, do I like Millport? I had relations in Cardiff Street and Crawford Street. Oh, really? Yes. And we used to go, um, we used to go down, my father took the car over once on the Talisman in about 1960. And you had two planks. I wouldn't have liked to have gone up them in a wet day. You could only get the car on if you, if it was the right state of the tide. And the talisman, which is the DEPV talisman, diesel electric paddle vessel. She was a law unto herself, this wee boat. She was a gorgeous wee steamer. And uh, she... That's she. the ferries? Yes. There were no... Well, there used to be two wee ferries went to Milper called the Ashton and the Leven. And at one point in my career, I was the crew on the Ashton. But she'd been sold. She wasn't the Ashton then. She was the Gorokian, and she sailed between uh, Guruk and Helensburgh, <clears throat> uh -huh. along with another one called the Granny Kempuk. They nearly knew how to name them, didn't they? Oh, they knew how to name them. That was lovely. That was Rich's Ferries. Another lovely one was the Westering Home. And the song in the air. Yes, Westering Home. So you could go across on the Westering Home on the Granny Kempuk or on the Gorokian. And, uh, and and I was on the crew of the Gorokian from 1968, and they bought her off Caledonian Steam Packet in 1965, 66. And they yeah, used to do the Milpert cool. Run. Did you actually work on the boat? <clears throat> I actually worked on the boats. I loved it. They used to oh. put the, the bow against the ladder, and I would shin up the pier with the ropes. You know, fantastic. There's somebody asking, what is it they're asking? I don't know. Can't actually make that out. <laughs> Wonderful. doesn't matter. Wonderful. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Fantastic. So I used to do that. And then another wee boat called the Countess of Bredalbin used yeah. to go from Guruk to Milpert. She was a bit bigger. And then eventually Richie's oh, bought her. Well, Largs, uh, well, the, the last one I was going to tell you about was called the Keppel. All right, all right. And the Keppel had come. You might remember the Keppel. I don't know. No, she had come from um, Tilbury, Gravesend Ferry. She had another sister. She was called the Rose. And she had another sister called the Edith, I think it was. And they were the ferry boats from Tilbury to Gravesend across the Thames. And uh, Caledonian Steam Packet bought the Keppel and brought her up to Largs to Milpert. She was great. Yeah. Because she had a yeah. she had um, running gear called Voth Schneider. And that made her incredibly manoeuvrable. Goodness, you're so knowledgeable. You know, it was amazing. It was just fantastic. Hi. You know? Well, do you like the Crocodile Rock? I love the Crocodile Rock. I love the whole thing. I remember the garrison. I remember the, the wee Episcopal Cathedral. I remember getting fish and chips. I remember hiring bicycles. I think we hired the bicycles in Cardiff Street. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Yes, and we would cycle around the island and you could take a tandem. Who ran that for years and years and years has just retired. Is that that's yeah. just amazing? I know he's, he's a lovely man. And there were lovely yeah. pubs as well, the George and all that. We used to you could go in and have a refreshment. It was a proper holiday destination. Well, uh, <coughs> that's, where we go. that's where I go and take my kids. Yeah, yeah. lovely. But I must tell you a story. It's quite funny now. It wasn't so funny at the time. <laughs> we had a little dinghy, a little dinghy my father had built. And he'd also built a little trailer for it that sat upside down in the bow. 
And because there were three of us, I said, well, it might be more comfortable without the trailer. And my father said, I'll just put it behind a rock. Nobody's going to touch that. We then went out in the boat and came back in. News flash: the trailer had gone. Somebody had whipped it. We never saw it again. <laughs> a wee wooden trailer. Well, if I ever see a wee trailer, I'll be marking it for A wee, a very well made with nylon wheels on it off a hospital laundry basket. Probably the one that's lying in our back garden. Yeah, somebody will have got it. Thought I could just take it. If anybody wants it, they can have it back. <laughs> But it was lovely. I mean, the holidays, the only thing was we had a wee outboard. And, of course, at high tide, the rocks are still all around the bay. Oh, uh -huh. And you see, the, 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 the ferries must really have known their stuff because it must have been quite a, a pathway into the pier. Yeah, it's quite rocky, isn't it? And what you used to get, some of the big steamboats coming in. Um, in the summer, they were heaving. I mean, Milpert, you know, I don't know what age you actually are, but Milpert was heaving. It was known, it was either Milpert or Rothsey that was known as the Little Madeira of the West. Oh, the I Little Madeira of the West. And you had Great Cumbria and Little Cumbria. And the oh, minister... Have you been on Little Cumbria? Have you been on Little Cumbria? No, I've not been on. Is it, is it not maybe private? I know there was a big house no. there. Right. Excellent. Well, um, it's just over the last few years, not not for long. Not for long. Well, I can remember uh, when the big boats came in along the bottom of the beautiful clear water, you could see broken crockery, and the broken crockery had the steam packets logo on it, and what that was was we summer cabin, we summer uh, pantry boys. They were obviously told to wash a load of dishes. Must have just thrown them out the porthole and over the side. Throw them out the window. <laughs> so when you come in in the summer, and so I think it's all cleared up now, but the bottom of the river had, you know, um, had all that. There's all different separate beaches in Millport. So there's one on the uh, Farlong Point. Yes. And it has got full of cro crockery and sea, sea glass. Wow. In fact, I found a piece of crockery the other a couple of months ago with a picture of Robbie Burns on it. Wow. Well, that might have come off the steamboats. Yeah. 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 And, and they used to go into, I think you could also go into the Tatty Pier, they called it. Oh, what was that? Well, I think that was along near where the Marine Laboratory was. Oh, yes, uh-huh. Yeah. There was Old yeah. Pier, which I think was Milpert itself. Yes. And then there was the Tatty Pier. That's right. Okay. And, and that's right. And I think it's the Tatty Pier. It's a slipway that the ferries go now. Yeah. And I'll tell you what else you could do. You could go to a private boat owner in Largs who had a wee boat that took maybe 20 folk or something. And you yeah. could get that across. And you could stop the bus and, and, and they would take you into Milpert. Oh. <laughs> Go dolphin spotting. Oh, beautiful. Well, you see, the dolphins wouldn't be there at the time. That's all changing as the water gets warmer. I suppose. Because there's whales keep coming in as well. Uh-huh. Well, I think whales have always been around the west coast of Scotland. Sometimes I think they came in to die. And some of the places you saw whale bones. Oh, that's so sad. It is very sad, actually, yes. I, I mean, that's just my theory. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> well, there's a big, there's big seals as well. You can watch them under the water. Oh, they're beautiful. I love to see all that. And I'll tell you what you used to get. I don't know if they still do it, but the boys used to jump off the pier in the summer. Uh-huh. Just go yeah, swimming. Are they still doing that? Yeah. Jumping yeah, off the pier. And I watch them and I'm just terrified. Yep. And I'm glad that my children don't do that. No, Dad, don't let them. No. One I false move, it really worries husband, me. When my husband was young, he used to do it. He's been going to Millport since he was about, what age were you, Stuart? About six? Eight. Eight. He's been going to Millport since he was eight. So I kind of married into going there on holiday. Fantastic. What a gorgeous, gorgeous reminiscence. What a joy talking to you. 
And we'll see you, Mummy Paws. Yes, we better get going or they'll be doing the nut. All right, good night. Dinky do, night, night. God bless you. What a top lady. That's fantastic. Because I want to get my lady callers up, you know. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Aha. Uh -huh. Ah. Right. Right, right you. Right. Pause. pause. I'm, I'm well, we just had mummy pause on. Buddy, <laughs> uh, I've just asked him some Mozart, ah, some Mozart. Uh, I just turned that down. Just I bet a Mozart. That was a bit of a dreadful, uh, that was a bit of a boring conversation there, but you know what? No, like, she was great. That was lovely. Uh, uh, no, I tried, she I was, tried she that. was fantastic. No, now listen, now listen, I'm just flying in there. Flying in and uh, flying out? Uh, I'm flying in from Glasgow and I'm um, going out to Prestwick for a little um, tuning in to um, Over the Schloss. Now, you know um, where I am, but I've yes. um, got to tune the organ yes. over in Paris, Charles de Gaulle. Yes. Now, listen, listen to me, buddy. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Why is I love your show? The show is fantastic, yeah? It is fantastic. fantastic. And I know you're a, a discerning man. Well, I listen to you every day, and I make sure I'm online, and I make sure that I'm I'm listening to all the callers. But some of the callers are boring. Sorry, right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're boring. Any of the in particular you'd like to dob in? Uh, I don't want. I don't want to say. I don't want. To what say. about this? Here's Kirby the Annihilator says the most brilliant philosopher of our time. Good afternoon, sir. He's in the United States. Uh, They've, they've, they've got a few, you know, A-level short of their hires. But yes. Sorry to say that, you know, they're, they're a bit thick. They're a bit thick. Right, so you um, feel we've got some thick people on here? We've got some thick, thick people, Scotty. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm afraid to say that. I went back and looked at my wonderful years at uh, Clare College, and we, you know, we, we go back. They're saying the callers aren't as boring as you, pal, so yeah, they're getting no, stuck no. in. they're getting stuck into you. I'm not your pal, buddy. Just you, just you watch that just now. Yes, they're they're um, they're not like it. There's Elise. Um, Elise has joined us. Didn't you do Elise? Who would who would know anything about a contra bourbon at first issue? Who would know about a diapason machine? A diapason. Who would know about a thirty-two foot base? Exactly. Exactly. What's the longest pipe you've come across? Oh, a sixty-four, a sixty-foot open. Um, Liverpool Anglican Cathedral. Oh my goodness, down where where Doctor Tracy was playing. <sighs> ah, you, you know. Yes, that. yes, I remember Ian Tracy very well. Uh, a very, uh, very, very fine organist. Pre pre Professor Ian Tracy. Professor Tracy, yes, indeed. Uh, now listen, listen. Let, let's just cut the chase here. Um, I'm trying to reestablish here some. Um, wonderful subjects that we used to have um, in uh, oh, the fantastic uh, 90s. And, um, Kareem says, this buddy guy is just attention-seeking. Let's send him love and peace, clearly a troubled soul. That's no, you. No, That's no, you. Listen, listen, yes. Listen, listen. Kareem thinks you're a troubled soul. Right, just listen to me, buddy. Right, um, buddy. Where people didn't have um, the keyboard warriors and didn't want to like hide behind a keyboard and type their comments, people would always call in, Scotty. They would call in and they would play their instrument. Yes. Do you remember that? Yes. And people would um, view their opinions via voice. Yes. Not stupid texting. So all this nonsense about... Oh, I don't want to call in, don't want to call in. Enough of that, I'm fed up with this moment. They're saying, who does this man think he is? Well, they can go and extinguish themselves. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I am not. Somebody to... says he thinks you're Boris's Scottish cousin with your That's waffling. Pathetic, absolute pathetic. That's what they think. Anyway, I'd better dash off. No, 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 no listen, listen, I'm not having not my, my finest word for Buddy, I'm sitting at the console now with back it out room in his time, BWD 645. Yes. And you'll know what that means. 
that means sleepers awake during Advent. Yes, absolutely, sleepers awake. So, yeah, so don't, don't you dare talk to me about mo moving me into some other um, part of your show. This uh, man is dangerous. Who is he calling, buddy? It's time for him to go. What a cheeky man. He's ruining the vibe. Yes, he's stuttering. All that, so off you jolly well go. Right. You're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Oh, this is Derek here. Derek here, how are you? I'm very well. You're not so boring tonight. Good, I'm very glad to hear it, Derek. Thank you for that. Right, uh, King Scotty says Addy the Baddy. Excellent stuff, my goodness me. What is it like tonight, folks? Never had anything like this. No one cares, says the sun. What a sad nub to says Neil. What's its point? <coughs> Here we are. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? This is Derek. Oh, Derek, right. I thought we'd just had you on. No, I don't know what happened. We got cut off. Right. What can I do for you, La? I was going to say, this is that last guy. I don't know what he's on tonight. I don't know what he's on. Right. I've got to ask you a question, Scotty. Of course you can. Yeah, I was going to say that it's great hearing you on in the evening, but do you really have to go on to in the morning? Yes, I think the morning's quite a good idea just to see who's about. No, 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 because no, I tried to get up out of bed and it just sent me back to sleep again. Sent you back to sleep? Good. Well, at least we've done your wee service there, La. That's fantastic. Now then, to the telephones. Who have we got here? Wait till we see. Fantastic stuff. Right, to your telephones as quickly as you can. We've got another eight minutes, guys. How fantastic is that? Some ignorant people here, Scotty. You'll need to sort them out. Get Addy the Baddy on the line. We can talk some Gaelic. Who's the guy crying on the phone? So there we are. Let's just find out. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Heavens above, it's me, myself, and I, the three wise numpty. Professor Numpty Heat, what's happening? Scotty, look at me. You've got far too many Numpty's fun in your show. There has oh, been one or two Numpty Heats, but we're all clear of Numpty Heats now, apart from yourself. Now then, hats off to your strangers. Yes, what well, we're did now. Let's put the people in the picture here. Numpty Heat phoned this morning on this morning's experimental phone in at 11 minutes past 11, and I said to him, there is a saying, hats off strangers. Where does it come from, and where have you heard it? <laughs> so, I've never heard that, but I can where it comes from. Right, where does it come from? It comes from the houses of Parliament. Clever man, what does it mean? Well, the police stand at the gates, and... In the doors and they say the strangers, hats off strangers. Hats off strangers, they need to not wear their hats. Well, and do you know where it originated from then? Are you listen, Scotty, I need to tell you something before you get the show finishes. Now, Mother and Paul's was born, I'll tell you, the worst call the, the worst call of the night. Who was the worst call? Mama Paws. Oh, she, she couldn't get a word done, Scotty. Mama Paws. But, uh, no, but it was nice to have a lady on. You had one for 20 minutes? Yes, and it was nice to have a lady on. She done nothing but talk rubbish. I think you're as bad. I think you should go right to the telephones, guys, as soon as possible. Uh, who have we got on here? Bye, buddy, bye. Oh, man, not another one, says Eb. Yawn, Derek. Cut them off, Scotty, says Andrew. What a sad numpty. What is his point, says Alice. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Uh, Scotty. Yes. Uh, Thank you, do. Who's that? It's uh, Cameron. Cameron, how lovely to hear you. Yeah, I just got a phone to say, uh, before you go off, can you give me a on the squeeze box. Are we chin on the squeeze box, Cameron? We will probably manage that, my dear fellow, and dinky do. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? No, I think it's Kareem's second call. Ah, Kareem's second call, yes, indeed. Would you agree that tonight's callers have been the worst ever? I don't think so, Scotty. You need diversity. You need different types of callers. Well, I like to have Mummy Paws on. I thought she was super and talking about Millpert. 
Listen, I ha- I've got you on the big screen. I'm just sitting in the living room listening to it away. And every caller that comes on, whoever's listening out there, they're going to take something from it, regardless. Yeah. They're going to learn something, aren't they? Yeah. I'll give you an example. Like with Derek coming on, I said he's a poor wee soul. Now, a lot of people are moaning about him, but there might be that very small percentage that actually like listening to his yes. jumble. Yes, to the mumbo-jumbo from Derek. I mean, Derek hasn't got much to say, and he obviously gets very easily bored because, you know, he's probably got a very low IQ. Yes. But that and doesn't mean he shouldn't be allowed to listen to the phone-in. No, he, I mean, he can talk and criticise other people he wants, but c- come on. I mean, here's the San saying to Numpty Heed, there's only one Numpty Heed, and that's you, Numpty Heed. You know? Uh, yeah. Listen, no, I, Scotty, I think the show's been, bang, been brilliant, it's, as it always is. Uh, and you're, you're never, if you get the same type of caller every single call. I think uh, we need different callers, and I think we needed Numpty Heed. I think we needed Meaty Boy. I think we needed Mummy Paws. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. we love having yourself on. You're never boring. Uh, you know, you. Derek is a poor soul, but nevertheless, as I say, he should be allowed to call. And as the show is growing as well, Scotty, you know you're going to get even more. Oh, there'll be a lot more of that, Kareem. We haven't even scratched the surface. Yes. Six six yes. weeks in a broadcasting project, six yes. weeks without advertising budget is nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, we haven't even started. It's up to the people to make sure everybody knows about this phone in. You asked me earlier on, Scotty, uh, when I phoned in this morning about Facebook. Yeah. Uh, so I checked all the Facebooks. You asked me to have a wee nosy through them all. Yeah. Everything's up and running fine. Um, I like them all, following them all. Everything looks good. You are a good man, Kareem. That is so much appreciated. And I think we'll do a phone in, what, tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock? I'll be, well, I'll be there. You know, I mean, even just for half an hour, an hour, just to see who's about. Absolutely. And it'll be different people again. Uh, and I think you'll get, like, a lot of people from America that are still up quite late. Yes. And it's good that you're doing that, Scotty. Yes. Yes, it's good, because if I go on TikTok around half six in the morning before I go out, very often we get a lot of Americans join us. Um, and I, I keep, as, as I said this morning, I would like some Americans to, to phone in. Maybe they don't do it because they're afraid that there might be a, a, a big cost if they phone in, but it should be free, should it not? It won't be free, I don't think. I think there is a call charge. I did look that up. I mean, I'm paying for the number, but I think uh-huh. there is a call charge. But Kareem, most people on their mobiles have a package that they get unlimited calls anyway. I don't know about the international side. Yeah, oh, there, there, there'll be something. Um, but, well, I, I'm, I'm positive someone will call. For but it. even a wee call to Scotty will... McClue, if it was me and it was a pound or yeah. two, I'd be making the call. Well, I'm sure. Did you not have, like, you're in lockdown, there was somebody from Canada, I think? Oh, a guy lockdown. used to come on the YouTube from Canada, but not the phone-in. The phone-in's right. obviously the new thing. Right, that's, that's fine. Then I'm getting Here's La Hoop oh, saying, would you ever consider doing an experimental 6 a.m. phone-in? Wow. Well, <laughs> if you're up early. <laughs> yeah, if you're up early. I mean, I am up early every morning, as you know. But, um, but uh, no, I think I think if we do a 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah be Top stuff. Oh, Scott, Scott, I'm going to say thank you, too. I just thought to phone you about the Facebook. You're wonderful, uh, and thank you for that. It's so much appreciated, and dinky-doo. And just to send love and peace to Derek. Oh, <laughs> love and peace to Derek. You're <laughs> such a good man, Kareem. There we are. Bye-bye, la. Right, to the telephones. We have to say good night to our beautiful TikTokers. Join us tomorrow at 10 o'clock UK time. There's our...